Hello, my name is Dr Gareth Francis and I believe science should be fun. My company, Working Science, provides school workshops, after school clubs and even science parties. Today I'm going to show you some fun science that you can do at home. Today I'm going to show you how to make rocket fuel to make your own little rockets at home so you can fire them up in the air. And uh, this is a very safe way so it won't, won't be too dangerous, there's nothing poisonous involved um, but it does give a good explosive effect. Um, so you can get your rocket to fly up in the air. Um, I've made a rocket um, already, quite simply, out of uh, a film canister, 35mm film canister, and I've put some, just some bits of uh, paper on it, different coloured paper, you can put wings on it, you can put a, a nose cone on it. The important thing to remember is not to put any tape or anything inside or around the lip of the rocket so that you can get the lid on quite carefully or quite quite easily so it can ping off because if you, if you get some sellotape in it won't work very well. So the rocket fuel is going to be made from bicarbonate of soda and vinegar and if you put these two things together you get a chemical reaction which gives off carbon dioxide gas and carbon dioxide gas is the gas that you get in lemonade and things like that that makes things sparkly. Um, but there's a lot of uh, volume in the gas, so it quite quickly fills up a volume like this so that it explodes. And the more and more gas that fills up, um, the, the, the higher the pressure inside, and then that forces the lid off at the bottom, which launches the rocket in the air. Instead of uh, bicarbonate soda and vinegar, you could use um, fizzy tablets, um, which is just, works just as well. You only need about a quart of a tablet and some water to make that work. So. I've got my rocket, I'm going to put the first bit of fuel in which is the vinegar, it's easier to add the vinegar first rather than the bicarbonate of soda. I'm just going to put half a centimetre or so of vinegar inside, it's not that much, and then I'm going to put a bit of sodium bicarbonate in, this is sodium bicarbonate, it's very easy to get hold of, you use it in baking cakes and it makes cakes rise because it gives off carbon dioxide, so it's the same effect um, that we're looking for here. So I'm going to put a bit of this in. If I put too much in it, it'll explode too fast. If I put too little in, it will take a long time. So I'm just, I've tried it before and about that much is about the right amount. So I'm going to put my carbonate soda in, put the lid on fast, and then close the rocket, give it a shake, and get out of the way. You can count down if you want. Okay, I'm going to show you the other method of uh, making rocket fuel, this time with a fizzy tablet. Okay, so you just need a fizzy tablet, That's simple. You only need about a quarter of it. Put water in first, and then we'll pop it inside. water instead of vinegar this time. Same amount of water, a couple of about five millimetres. And when you put this in it will start fizzing because it's a fizzy tablet and uh, starts to give off carbon dioxide and that will force when the pressure builds up it will force the lid off. So one, two, three. And then we just wait for it to take off. The pressure is building up inside as the carbon dioxide is coming off the tablet and at some stage the pressure is high enough for it to force the lid off the body and that makes the rocket throw up into the air, like that. We've come outside to see how, how high these rockets can fly. So I've got my tablet in here, I've got some water in. A bit too much. Put the lid on. And then we'll stand back because it, we don't want it to explode in off my face. And it should, the carbon dioxide is coming out of the tablet now when it's reacting with the water. Pressure's building up inside and then suddenly it'll explode. So that's how high the rocket goes and that's how you make rocket fuel.